Hello everyone, this is Blue Orc 2792 here to present to you a let's play of one of my favorite games, Dawn of War 2 Retribution. I'll be playing as my favorite faction in the entire Warhammer universe, the Orcs. And these are no ordinary Orcs either, these are Orc Pirates. With a, with a little eye patch, a pirate hat, and well this, they don't have a parrot or a peg leg but some of the dialogue they act very piratey enough and I'm gonna go hard mode ten years ago we blood demons like. destroyed the demon Alcare ending his schemes to rot subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape we thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Sector. We were wrong. Yeah, very wrong, Gabriel. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets. Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Sector to secure her, to defend her. Well, then they're more like a shield, Yet not a the hammer. the incursions only grew in number and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the gods' ranks. Uh, yeah, that happens a now lot in the, the Warhammer sector universe. Sits helpless, racked by constant, endless, unremitting war. The whole galaxies like that. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Araya Kairos, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers. Brothers unaware of the chapter master's secret allegiance to Alcare. A corrupt space marine chapter master. A militia crippled by disorder and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. If you played on over one, you would the know. Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus cleansing every planet of the sector of life. Xenos and human. Corrupt and innocent. I wonder how many of those planet-cracking weapons do they have? Adrastia, Inquisitor of the Ordo Hereticus, has entered the fray. Because if they have, like, a she lot of amount, the they can use that against, you know, heresy, but has not planets that they're invading. The coming storm, short of destroying the traitor herself. With the authority to combat the enemies of man by nearly any means, she is gathering any force she can muster. Allies among forces still loyal to the Imperium, and even enemies with a common interest of preserving the Sector, if only for future war. We can only hope she finds suitable allies, but hope is of course the first step down the road to disappointment. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you look up here, this is basically the wreckage of Blood Flag's ship. And basically Gabriel Angelus' little speech kind of reflects the entire uh, Warhammer universe. But anyways, I'm getting a little bit off to topic. Then, let's begin. Sorg me, what happened? Mr. Nailbrain, status reporter! Status reporter's busted, Captain! Best guess, the cruiser's been shot down into that jungly planet! 
Type in, I think they calls it. Yorks! Destroy the orcs! We cannot tolerate their interloping! Ponce Eldar! I'll corrupt you good! More pointy elements for me trophy rack! Don't fancy tarts close. I can feel, sir. Young Master Spookum should be around here somewheres, too. He's not one to miss the stomping. Let's find him. Oh, and snick in the Eldar you find on the way. And now we get to look at our... You won't speak? Basically, our heroes for the Come campaign. On, Captain Bloodflag. Leader of the Orc Freebooters. Equipped with a... At the moment, a chain choppa and a cut a big shooter. Not really a big shooter, but a custom big shooter, I'd say. Shooter most bigger, His all alone. first mate, Mr. Nailbrain, is the one with the big shooter. Tough knob, that's me. And oh, let's go stomp you. some Eldars. Especially these Eldars, because I, I just can't stand the Eldar characters in here. I mean, I enjoyed the Eldars on the, in the Dark Crusade. But around here... We just have that I'm better than you attitude. Probably should have done that sooner. Maybe you should snazz up your armor there. It's embarrassing. You won't speak. Who you need removed? Just there. Uh, on me way. <laughs> These gits just made the classic blunder. Attacking an orc who hadn't found him already. Now we can stomp him faster! It's hard enough when Eldar turns a fist! This more coming! And make when Eldar attacking! One of the reasons why I like the orcs so much in the Warhammer universe is basically the entire universe is based practically war. I don't see a bomb, Spookums. Anyways, uh, so basically they can they're basically take it like a really grim, dark situation and making it fun, which I kind of enjoy. Because everyone else is either like 
gone insane from the universe or basically have a stick up their butt. Probably wondering why Blood Flag health isn't going any lower than a hundred. If you haven't played this before, but maybe because of the first level, it's a tutorial level. Hence all these uh, buttons over here. It's basically impossible for your main character to get killed off, basically. But that doesn't mean your these other characters can't get killed off as well because they can. Time to call in some boys. Uh, the get first time the on best them. part of the war is a good old mob of boys. Bad at darker, but great at stomping. In the middle of a fight, their kit can be customized with all sorts of gobbins <laughs> to make them more killy. I'm gonna get these guys grouped up because of the suppressor unit the right here. Basically, we're just gonna basically make a mad dash. Let's demonstrate some brutal cunning and go round. And our bones make fine cracking sounds. All my boys survive. Let's press on. Hey, some local boys are poking around. Oi, use not. Use part of my crew now. Any problems with that? You talk to the complaints department. That's me gone, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, it's just minor jokes like that that really make this campaign so damn fun. And again, show like the orc basically making the best of a, of a bad situation. Where everyone else is either become so dark and broody or insane from the universe, the orcs are just keeping their spirits high. Nice 
appreciate our boss. And look, we's uh, saved this for ya, yeah? Oh, I get what you're doing. Oh, you need Just to uh, let's blow that up. Alright, now I have enough requisition points, which is the orange stuff. I'm gonna call in some more boys. I'm gonna make them all shoot us for this mission. Because they're more useful as range units instead of the... The Barnas. Which I will mostly use later on with the Slugger boys. Or Orc boys, sorry. So a little bit of a pet peeve is that actually you know what I'll 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 give I'll talk about it later on like in the next mission. So I guess I can talk a little bit about it. These orc boys don't get the big shooter upgrades. Like what the hell? I mean I guess it might make them a little bit overpowered. But they show at least one member of the squad with a big shoot. At least one. No, oh, go there. Uh, but then again, they oh, get the grenade and the. Uh, they still keep wog, so I guess I can't really complain that boy. much. A long walk, boys, but, worth it. but the other pet peeve about shooter boys, I will get to in the next mission. Now, have Blood Flag lead the charge while all the Orc boys get in the cover. Wow, that was fast. I would have thought it would take a little while longer for them to kill. Then again, they are using WOG. Oi, what's that? Tough oi, get your plan. Oh god, get your plan. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, damn it. Another one down. It's almost boring. Well, actually, that was a good idea for me to get the boys over to get healed up because what I should have done. Okay, what I should have done was have the shoot us position over the wall to throw grenades at this position. But one of my guys basically didn't do what I wanted it to do and almost got killed because of it. Oh, you need room to Over there. Hey, oh. 
out of green. And here come the Eldar special units. Well, do I, should I call them special? I, yeah, they're like they're one of the Eldar's best units, the Wraith Guard. Deadly arranged, but in melee they stand no chance against Bloodfly. Guys, uh, the bunker. Any good bitch for looting there? I get your plan. I'll get there. Shoot, move it. This breach move and to kill the enemy leader. And let's go kill my least favorite character in the entire game. Now, if you play the Eldar campaign, and if you did not like Eldars, you'll see why. Well, you know why, but. Big this here is <laughs> mine. Mine. Sorry, it's just I just really do not like this character. Like Got me shooting, let's go get chopping. So that's why I am glad to take her ass down a peg. I get what you're doing. For the brothers and sisters you have killed, I shall erase you from existence! Oi, Twiggy! What do all you boys and a smashed up jammy paste have in common? Come here, I'll show ya! Now bosses for the most part in this game, and even hard ones, aren't really hard. Slime! Silencing you is reason enough for your death! 
victory is hollow, Orc. You shall be washed away in the coming storm. You should have had more of your skinny boys this morning if you were gonna shoot down my cruiser. No, look at ya. Why, I'm gonna... It's one of the reasons I don't like the Eldar is that they seem so self-righteous. It's so high and mighty. Despite the um, fact that their biggest contribution Cameron, to the Warhammer Universe is introducing now, a fourth Neobrin. Chaos God. I'm still sassing this tons of Eldar. Captain, you know I wouldn't normally, but there's a matter that's big here. Pressing and heavily armed, Captain. Parley. What the bleeding saga? <laughs> Captain Bloodflag. <laughs> Only now that you're like, you have you, made oh, quite oh, a name oh, for oh, yourself God. looting the petty lords of this subsector. You have also been known as a mercenary under their employ. I? What's that to you? Why, you're catting your boys here. You're one of those inquisitive type thingies. I thought yous were more for killing orcs than paying them. I like your hat, by the way. I am here to offer you a business proposition. There is a man, a space marine, I would like you to kill. Chapter Master Kairos of the Blood Ravens. Perhaps you are familiar with him? I don't know one of those humies from another, but Space Marines is dead hard. Why do you want him? Because if he isn't eliminated, this entire subsector will be obliterated. Then who will you loot, Captain? And who will you fight? Obliteration, eh? Can't say that'd be good for me and me boys. What's in it for old blood flag, eh? Giving you money is pointless. Giving you technology is obviously out of the question. But I can give you a fight. Three Imperial regiments, a battlefield of your choosing. Hmm. Throw him that hat, and you got a deal! Suddenly not, green skin. No hat, no deal. <laughs> Kill your own <laughs> All he cares about is the hat. <laughs> I've got more pointy Which makes the ending of this campaign all the funnier. The and kind of badass at the huh. same time. You do not really think that the Eldar shot your ship down, do you, Captain? You twiggy thing! You think you can sword an ox cruiser and walk away? Oh, now he's pissed. Stop your posh me, all right. Oh, makes you wish you never heard of Captain Blood Flag. Uh, he is pissed. Day's crashed. Huh. Fire level up. Oh well. Alright. Select one of the following mission rewards. So I'm gonna go with the knob later. Two free grins all round, you lot! Oh, breakfast is back! What I miss! Why is the captain all grim? Captain, I reckon that you and me got your blood up with blasting a ship and all, but stopping a space marine, boss. They don't come much harder than that. Couldn't you have got a bit more looted scrap out of it? Them Inquisition humans can't be trusted any further than they can be thrown. Which in that one's case might be a bad example. She's just trying to blast us no matter what kind of deals we come to. This now is all in the same truck. That's cunning days, Captain. So now we can crash the truck. <sighs> right. <laughs> Man, whoever wrote those jokes or wrote the campaign for the orcs. You're brilliant. Or everyone who was involved in that is brilliant. But anyway, let's get some upgrades going. And as you can see, I bought the DLC pack, so all my main characters, or the main heroes of the campaigns, all get epic gear. And 
um, giving a BB Def Gun to you because. Oh my. He hadn't do it yet, but. I'm planning on turning him to like a heavy weapons guy. For Spookums. Yeah, DACA Specialist. Breakfast. And I. Now it says attack speed is 3 out of 10 for the huge chopper and 4 out of 10 with just a knife. Alright, cause let's see. Melee damage is like worse with the axe than it is with just his chopper. Let's say maybe it's because he has like a way faster attack rate or with the knife than with the axe and this might be like I have no idea if it would be like poison coating or something I don't know anyways I'll just yeah. look at the description it's better than nothing I think <laughs> for this and well, let's, I'm gonna just throw this in the trash, which gives Blood Flag two points to upgrade him. First one. Oh, I forgot. And I get our mines. I think I'll go with this. Oh, smoke on the nail brain. Just I think I'll give Spookum smoke bomb and breakfast this armor. Especially for the next mission, which will probably be on their heavy fire for a good amount of time. So this will be very useful. You got fine juice on nail brine. And I'll keep this in reserve for breakfast. And that's it for the first mission. If you have any tips or advice on how to improve my Let's Play videos, I will greatly appreciate it. Just make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you liked what you see, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.